Oh, this is a thrilling book on history. I happened to come across this book while I was studying gambling, as it is what Wall Street is. So I started researching gambling, and I got this book, and it was wonderful. Titanic Thompson, The Man Who Bet on Everything by Kevin Cook. And he's a wonderful writer, too. I mean, he transported me back in time before I was even born. And he reminds me of some of the old men that used to tell us stories when I was little. They, they had a lot of details, but not like Kevin does. <clears throat> I'll read you the, the, the folder description, and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it. Capturing the spirit of a freewheeling era, the rollicking life of a great American hustler. Born in a log cabin in the Ozarks, Alvin Titanic Thompson, 1892 to 1974, traveled with his golf clubs, a 45 revolver, and a suitcase full of cash. He won and lost millions playing cards, dice, golf, pool, <clears throat> and dangerous games of his own invention. He killed five men and married five women, each one a teenager on her wedding date. When poker players in the Roaring Twenties asked, Ty, what's the limit? He'd say, sky's the limit. Damon Runyon based Guys and Dolls hero Sky Masterson on Titanic. But Ty rejected Runyon's offer to write his life story. Mine ain't the kind of business publicity helps. He went on to double-cross Arnold Rothstein, the notorious crime boss who fixed the 1919 Black Sox World Series in the poker game that got Rothstein killed. Thompson also traded card tricks with Houdini, conned Al Capone, teed it up with Ben Hogan and Sam Snead, lost a million to Minnesota Fats, and then teamed up with Fats and won it all back. With spirited prose and propulsive narrative style, award-winning writer Kevin Cook resurrects a remarkable figure who journeyed from backwoods Arkansas to New York, Chicago, and Hollywood. Distilling truth from legend, Cook delves into the colorful lore of golf, poker, craps, and other games, revealing how Titanic succeeded and cheated. <clears throat> Functionally illiterate, he knew the odds with computer-like precision and often won more in side bets, high or low card wagers, bets on boxcars or snake eyes, than in the game itself. Titanic was an American original, the king of the road gamblers. His last stand came during a big money match in Texas, where PGA golf star Raymond Floyd, backed by Titanic, battled an unknown pro named Trevino. As suspenseful and dramatic as a blockbuster movie, Titanic Thompson is the story of an underdog who made it big and a must-read for anyone who's ever laid a bet. So all you Wall Street stock and bond buyers ought to read this as well. Kevin Cook, Tommy, Tommy Honor, a Sports Illustrated Book of the Year won the USGA's Herbert Warren Wind Award in 2007. Cook has often appeared on ESPN and CNN. He lives in New York. <clears throat> I bet he knows a little about Wall Street, too. And so, my thoughts on this was very fascinating that the history was on this. And there is a little bit in here that can give you a good idea of how, of when uh, some of these gamblers went into Wall Street. On uh, some that did Dow, Dow buys and things. 
and really Wall Street's become the biggest global crime ring global crime ring in America a casino and politicians that support and cover them I think they're covering these people and their businesses to get stocks and bonds to ensure their loyalty to them and there's probably more crime there than we'll ever know and after reading all this I'm pretty sure that those uh, Wall Street traders are professional bookies like in anything gambling that they do <clears throat> and you can see page 117 about Dow and this has got great graphic descriptions of how games work and how these gamblers cheat you can't trust a gambler ever I know he had some interesting stories about the dice game in here and my first old man used to play dice too especially when we had no money and nothing to eat he would go play the dice with anybody that had money and he won a lot and the stories of how Titanic had to kill to avoid being robbed was really interesting as well and I usually don't like that kind of stuff but this was pretty good I gotta give my kudos to Kevin Cook. He's really a good storytelling writer. And those famous people he talked about, oh wow, if you're as old as me, you can be surprised too. He was a good example to other gamblers. And maybe not as many people heard about him, but they will now. And we'll see who knows how to find gamblers like that too. So we'll see. Have a great one. And don't gamble, it's bad.